Hi there. If you came from a previous video of this video series, then click in the chapter marker down below to start the video. If you just started this video and because you found this on YouTube, then you should be clicking on the uh, card here above to get you to the first video of the video series. Because this is more an interactive video series where you can click from one video to another depending on what your setup is. Thanks for watching. So the next stage in our setup is getting a dynamic host name. And the reason we want a dynamic host name is because most residential internet connections don't have fixed IPs. So your IP could change any day, any hour, any time for any reason. And that means, for example, in my case, I have right now 91.189.70.211. But tomorrow I might have 91.189.70.15. And then I would need to change the settings in my phone again. I would need to figure out which IP I have, reconfigure everything. So a dynamic host name has two components. First of all, it has a host name that points to your IP, but it also has an application that constantly checks your public IP and then updates the host name. So for example, in my case, I'm going to set uh, up no IP, which is the service, the dynamic DNS service. It's for free. You just need to reconfirm every 30 days by uh, there's an email coming and you need to click on that to confirm that you still are using the host name. And then basically I'm using the dynamic host name emeraldav.zapto.org. Uh, they have a couple domains that you can choose from and then you decide the beginning of the whole host name. What that does is that you basically then have a, a name that's always up to date with the IP you have no matter what public IP it is. Some routers actually allow you to configure things like this in, in your router. We are going to install an application on the OBS PC instead and using that. What you use in the end and how you implement it in the end is entirely up to yourself. Let's get into it. So the first thing is obviously we open up uh, our browser and we go to www.noip.com and then we'll sign up for an account. Once you filled out the whole form, you need to confirm the terms and services. I don't want deals and stuff and we'll just sign up for free. It now has sent you an email with a confirmation link. So you will need to click on that. I have done that already. Uh, so we go back to noip.com and then here up in the top right, there is the sign in. So we sign in there. The first thing that uh, they ask you is to uh, create a username. Um, I was looking for this first, but it's actually you click on add username here and then you just create a new username. And that's the username you will be using to log in to no IP in the future. And you also need it for the, for the application. So on the dashboard, you can see now we uh, need to create a host name and you can have one host name for free. i create the host name. And as I said, in my case, I, uh, I scroll through the uh, domains that they offer us to use. I picked up to the dog. The enhanced domains are for paid accounts as far as I remember. We want the DNS host a record and the host name will be Emerald AV in my case. Now you can see there is a yellow exclamation mark at the last update because it's actually never been updated because I haven't installed the application yet. So the next thing is we go to a dynamic update client and then we download the, uh, the DOC, the dynamic upload update client. So that's downloaded, it's only a very small application, install that on the PC. I agree the license agreement. 
and launch it. This will basically sit in the background. So you use your username that you defined and the password that you set up with your account. Then you uh, edit hosts and we choose the MLDAV is up to the dog domain and it hasn't taken that. That's that's a bit weird. Okay, well, well try that again. Edit hosts. There you go. Now now it has that. That's great. And then we minimize that. And just go back to the web interface and confirm on the dashboard that uh, click into uh, the emerald av up to dot org and yeah it has updated everything is good so now we can go and reconfigure the phone to use that for that we go into the settings and we go to manage connections and click on home external click on the url and replace the ip with our dynamic host name now which in my case is emeraldav.zapto.org done Okay, back, 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 and now we can test it again.